Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial on the demise of color themes in Adobe products such as Photoshop and Illustrator. Now, I went to answer a user's request today. They were asking about a recent video that I put up and they asked me about where I got my color schemes from. And so I was about to make a video for them to show them all about color themes in Adobe Photoshop and in Adobe Illustrator. And when I opened Photoshop, I saw a message at the top of the Adobe Color Themes dialog. It said that the Adobe Color Themes panel was going to be removed from this product in July. I went to Illustrator and found the exact same thing in the Color Themes panel in Illustrator. And then, of course, I added to the web because that's where you're going to find some information about problems like this. And what I ended up finding was not only a lot of people who were really annoyed and really frustrated about this, but also information that this is actually going to be discontinued as of the 14th of July. And that happens to be the day that I am recording this video. And so what's happened is that this is actually going to be removed. The Adobe Color Themes panel will no longer function after the 14th of July. Now, that's incredibly frustrating to a lot of people because a lot of people use this feature, but just be aware that it's going and there's nothing that you can do about it. But there are some things that you can do to get access to color themes, none of which are anywhere near as easy to use as the color themes panel. So I'm sorry to bring that news to you, but let's go and see what we can do. So I'm headed to the web where I've already logged in to coloradobe.com. Now I've signed in to my account there. And this tool is sort of like the color themes panel, but more confusing and slower, basically. So first of all, I've got all sources visible here. So I'm going to click the drop down list because all I want to do is see color themes. But you can see that there would also be creative projects and stock photos appearing here. But all I want is color themes. And then like you can do in the color themes panel or could do in the color themes panel when it was still there, you can type in a keyword to explore. And I'm just in the explore area here. You can see up the top there's create, explore, trends and libraries. Again, part of the not very easy to use feature here is that these are in dark gray on black. So anybody with problems with their eyesight is just really going to struggle with this. But I'm in the explore module here. So I'm going to just type in forest, press enter, and then I'll get color themes that are related to forest. So if I want to grab one of these, first of all, you want to come up here, drop this down arrow down and make sure that you are logged in to or selected the library that you want to add this to, because this is going to come into Photoshop and to Illustrator via the libraries feature. And so if you've got a lot of libraries, you want to make sure that you're putting this in the right one or else you're just going to compound your problems. So I've got it in colors. That's where I want it to be. And so now if I like one of these color themes, I can add it to colors. If I hover over it, I get three options. I can add it to a library, which is this library up here. I can just appreciate it or I can download it as a JPEG. Now, before you poo who download as a JPEG, be aware that if your libraries are not connecting to Adobe and I have a computer on which they're not, then downloading as a JPEG is going to really help me out. But this computer, it's actually working today. I'll click here to add it to a library. And so I'm getting this message down here that the theme has been successfully added to colors. And I can go through and add additional color themes here to my library. And you can continue to do that. Now, if your library feature isn't syncing properly, if you get an error message or you just see that it's not syncing, then this is what you can do. I'm actually going to grab this one because it's very different. I'm going to download as a JPEG. So I'm going to my downloads folder and I'm just downloading it as it is named and I'll just click save. So as a JPEG, I can sample colors from that at a later date if I need to. Let's go back to one of these applications. I'm in Illustrator right now. Well, the Adobe Color Themes panel is dead in the water right now. So let's go to the Libraries panel. I'll choose Window and then Libraries. Now in the libraries panel, I'm seeing the two libraries that I have that we saw on the color website, 
calendar colors and colors. So if I click here on colors, I'm saying these two forest color themes that I added to my libraries. And because this is syncing properly, you can see this icon here is looking perfect. It's syncing correctly. And so I'm going to see all the color themes that I've added to this library and all the ones that were already in there. Now, as far as getting access to these color themes so you can actually use them, you're going to just simply right click them and choose add theme to swatches. So if I open up the swatches panel here, you'll see that that theme or the theme colors have been added to my swatches panel. So that's pretty simple. The tricky thing is that you have to go to the web right now to be able to get access to explore color themes. You have to add them to a library. You have to come back into your application, wait while it syncs, and then you'll get access to them. But of course, if your libraries aren't syncing correctly, and as I said, I've got one computer where they're not, then you'll need to resort to the JPEG images. So I'm just going to import that JPEG image. So I'm going to choose File and then Place. I'm going to my Downloads folder, and I'm going to click on the image that I just downloaded. Here it is, the JPEG image, and I'll click Place. I'm just going to drag out a place for it in my document. Now, all I want to at this stage is to grab the colors. So I'm going to the eyedropper tool and I'm going to shift click on this color. Shift clicking on the color just allows me to sample it. And now in the swatches panel, I'm going to create a new group. And I'm going to add this color to the group. Shift click on the next one, add it. Well, I didn't have my color group selected, so it didn't go in the right place, but let's just drag it to the correct place. Shift click, make sure I target this group and add the new color to it. Shift click, target the group and add it to it. Shift click, target my group and add the color to it. So while this process actually works and you can sample colors from a JPEG image and you can add it to your swatches, it's obviously way, way inconvenient and removal of the Adobe Color Themes dialog inside Photoshop and Illustrator, I'm sure it's going to annoy a lot of people. It certainly really annoys me because A, I was about to make a video on it and B, I use it all the time. And now I'm going to be like you using the website exploring on the website to see what I want to use and then downloading it to a library and on the computer that will not sync the libraries, then I'm going to have to be doing the JPEG route and sampling colors from the JPEG. It's annoying, it's the current situation. Adobe has removed support for the Adobe Color Themes panel and it has not as yet put anything in its place. Rather than saying, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope that this has clarified issues in relation to the Adobe Color Themes panel for you. If you did learn something from this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.